To import entries from a tab delimited text or CSV file, go to the Account menu, down to Switch To, and click the name of the account you'd like to import into. Go to the File menu, down to Import, and click the Text or CSV menu item. Navigate to the file you'd like to import, click it once, then click the Import button. Now set the import options for your file. In the Data Layout section, you'll see a row of menu buttons next to the word Checkbook. Just below that, you'll see a row of fields representing the first row of data in your file next to the word Import. Click each menu button, then click the name of the field where you want to store the data. For example, if you see a date in the first field, or if you see the word Date there, click the first menu button, then click the word Date in the menu. Do the same for each of the fields in your file. If you see column names instead of actual data in the data layout, place a check mark next to the Skip First Row of Data option. Click the Date Format menu button, then click the date format used in the file. If the file uses localized thousands and decimal separators, enter these in the provided fields. Decide whether to import zero amount entries as deposits or debits. Click the OK button when you're ready to continue. Review the entries you're about to import. Place a check mark next to each entry you'd like to keep, and remove the check mark next to each entry you don't want to keep. Double click an entry to make changes. When you've reviewed the entries and you're sure you want to continue, Click the OK button. You'll be asked if you're certain you'd like to continue. This is your final opportunity to verify each entry appears as you expect. Click the Continue button and the entries with a check mark will be added to the current account.